Welcome. I'm your host, Schmitty, and I've hidden the secret to eternal youth somewhere in this game of Quiplash. I'm just going to assume you're all wearing your quipping pants. Okay, let's play. Here's round one. I'm going to beam two prompts to your device. Answer them however you choose. What you type goes up against what someone else types, and everyone votes on the winner. You score based on the percentage of players who like your answer. Plus, there are winner's bonuses at stake. Go! Okay, remember, this is all your fault. Prompt number one is... The best way to get out of a corn maze. Okay, vote for your favorite. the ugly duckling did after turning into a beautiful swan. Time to vote. Next, everybody looks cool on a motorcycle, except for blank. Ready, set, vote! Saturday night is just sitting on the couch with blank. 
Vote now. Round one's done. Let's see who's in the lead. <laughs> Round two time, and to make it interesting, I'm doubling all the point values. You heard me. Almost out of time. Use the safety quick button if you have to. Let's see what we're working with. First one, a line you'd see on the Wolfman's online dating profile. Okay, pick your favorite and vote. on the list. Conspiracy alert! Aliens are real and they're blank. It's voting time! thing to hear from your grandpa, I wish I'd spent more time blank. Get to voting! Your next prompt is, if this player was a Mortal Kombat character, their special move would be this. Vote on your devices. Okay, next one. How you know your RV is haunted. And vote.
Next in the hopper, the name of a disease that makes you look like a minion. Okay, vote. You survived round two. Let's see if your scores did. <laughs> round three has arrived. The last lash. You're all going to answer the same prompt, so pull out all the stops. Make up the full name for this acronym. Okay, here we go. You get three medals to award to your top three quips. Give out your gold, silver, and bronze medals now. Okay, let's see who got those medals. Bronze first, silver, and now the gold. Let's see what the medals to points exchange rate is these days. That's all, now for the final scores.
Wake up! Wake up! Welcome to Trivia Night, a gauntlet of pain and judgment, but without all the preachy morality of those other serial killers. I'm going to ask you a bunch of trivia questions. If you get a question wrong, you have to fight for your life in one of my super fun mini games. If you do badly in the mini game, I'll kill you. But don't worry, those can still win the game. When one player is left alive, we'll go to the final round where the living and dead compete to see who can escape first. Don't forget, you can still join the audience at any time. Woo! Doing presentations make me nervous, but I got through it. My public speaking teacher, Mr. Temmy, would be so proud. Now let's play. Okay now, first question. What was the name of that mid-90s talking pig movie that wasn't Babe? Use your device to answer the question. And the correct answer is... Who got the question right? The rest of you, I have a surprise for you! Welcome to the killing floor! I'm going to ask you a question. Answer very carefully. What's a great name for a duck? Type an answer on your device and press send when you're finished. Are you proofreading that thing? Hit send! No answer? That's not acceptable. Lazy. Just lazy. And here's how everyone stacks up early in the game. But you're all number one to me. Alright, next question. Let's mix things up a little bit with a picture question. I've been thinking a lot about my legacy. How are people gonna remember me? No, really. How are people gonna remember me? I kill everyone I meet. I know. A child. A child can be my legacy. In fact, this child could. Isn't he cute? Yes, that child will be my legacy. Now, if I can just figure out how to get my brain in there, my legacy can live on. Hmm, hmm, think, think, huh. But enough of this chit-chat. What color were the little cowboy shoes? Picked this. The rest of you who are still alive, let's go someplace fun. Welcome back to the killing floor. Now I'd like you to make some art. Every little line will be scrutinized. Nighthawks. Draw this thing the best you can and press send when you're finished. Everyone gets to vote. Pick the drawing that you hate the most. Time to make yourself feel better at others' expense. Pick the drawing that makes you go, ah, uh, no. No, sir, I will not have any of that. Go with your gut. The votes are in. Did you draw this ugly thing? I just killed you and you're totally a ghost now. But don't go into the light just yet. 
ghosts can still win. It's about to get incorporeal up in here. This is the scoreboard again. I had thought about having a different scoreboard for each question, but sometimes you have to make sacrifices along the way in game development. Let's try this again. Which band is not composed of brothers? Let's see who's a wordsmith. Use letters to spell the longest word you can before time runs out. It was really hard to find good cues to cut out. Don't be the person with the shortest word or you'll regret it. We've pretty much started, so don't dwaddle. By the way, the letters don't have to be touching. And don't forget to press submit when you're done. You're almost out of time! Let's see what you came up with. Uh-oh! I wonder if I should be doing more in this game to make people tweet. I should be getting people to tweet about this game, right? Ugh, I should really be pushing my branded hashtags. Let's try another one. I want to warn you in advance that this next question might be a little too dreamy to handle. What does Justin Bieber have tattooed in the middle of his chest? You know what you can always count on? Math. Literally. Ha! Ah! Answer as many math questions as you can before time runs out. All the other players will be playing along too. And if any of them do better than you, it'll be bad. Let's go! Math! 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 Come on, you can do this! Map! 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 We're almost done! Guess who's getting subtracted? You think you know who your friends are, and then they viciously attack you in a trivia game. Same old story. Alright, next question. I don't envy the vet that has to neuter him, but tell me... How tall is Clifford the Big Red Dog? And the correct answer is... This one! Let's play a game! Wow, look at this big enticing pile of cash just sitting here! Here's how this is going to work. If no one takes the money, no one dies. But if you do take the money, I'll kill everyone who didn't. There's one catch. If you all take the money, then you all die! Think of this as a fun team-building exercise. Yeah. Talk it out! Ah. Let's see where we netted out. Nobody took the money. Wow. I really hate you guys. 
I really, really do. Next question. Here's something you won't find in your fancy school books. What is Shaq's shoe size? said, this one? Only a ghost got it wrong. Hmm, too easy. I've got more questions for you. Before George Clooney earned a starring role in TV's ER, he once had a role in what short-lived series? The correct answer is... This. <laughs> Everyone is wrong. Let's go someplace fun. Let's do a little memory test. Memorize the pattern. Alright, let's hide my toys. From left to right, what was the order of the colors? Last place will feel the pattern of my knife. Yeah. And looky looky, here's the pattern. How'd you do? It looks like you forgot what was at stake. We're just down to one. Well, look who's still alive. Now you just have to escape with your body. I'm going to give you a category. Parts of the brain. Tap on each answer that fits, then press submit. Let's see the right answers. You move forward one space for every correct answer. You're getting real close to the exit. Oh, did I mention that all the other ghosts get to play too? If a ghost catches up to you, then they will steal your body. Then they can escape and win the game. Here's everyone's next question. And ghosts get a third choice to help them catch up to you. Time is almost up. Anytime today, kiddo. Can you stay out of the shadows? Events in the Decathlon. Decisions, decisions. Kill your friend and come back to life. It's the only way. Robert De Niro films. Escape before 
the others catch you. Professional sports teams from New York State. Why does Susan always post these flyers for Agency Girls Night? Does anyone ever go to them? Um, yeah, I went once. I hear It was you. just me and Susan in a Nicholas Sparks movie marathon. No, what a nightmare. How many movies did you have to- I don't want to talk about it. No, tell me! I don't want to talk about it. Foolish humans. I hear you. Interesting. Foolish humans. Attention field agents. The following nicknames have already been taken. Whee! Falcon. Viper. All right. Little Pumpkin. Mima. Sleepy right. Pete. Whee! Goober. High five. Terry Gross. Be Cargo Mima. Shorts. Chumba Wumba. Breathe it in. Spider. Interesting. Spider with a Y. Oh. Clumpy. Interesting. Demogorgon, the Dark Overlord. Oh. And Be Jonathan. Thank you for listening. Whee! Hello. Hey Dave, it's Brian. I'm at home sick today. Could you log on to my terminal real quick? Sure thing. Hey, your government here. We have been kinda, sorta, collecting information about all of you. Now, before you get all angry and call your congressperson, let us make it up to you by turning it all into a game that we call... Gespionage! <laughs> Let the Gespionage begin! First up... Okay, computer, what do you have for this one?
What percentage of people would prefer to go through their entire lives barefoot? Give it your best guess. You get more points the closer you come to the actual percentage. Okay, we have a guess. 29%. Everyone else, do you think the correct answer is higher or lower? You can also double down and guess much higher or much lower if you think the guess is off by 15% or more. People are saying lower. And the correct answer is... 36%! Sadly, those people would never again be welcome inside of Burger King. Who picks higher? Here's some points! Okay, who's up next? Typey typey! What percentage of men prefer electric razors as their go-to face shaving device? Seventy-two percent. What do y'all think? Higher or lower? I hear you. Only one of you thinks it's higher. Okay, let's see the right answer. 38%! You weren't within 30%, so no points for you. Who got it right? Well done, you get points. And what have we here? Great answer. Double points for saying much lower. Next up. I hear you. I'll bet our database has some juicy data for this. What percentage of people usually correct those who misquote lines from movies? 64%. Everyone else, higher or lower? Most of you are saying higher. Now let's get to the right answer. 39%! Frankly, my dear, I don't give a good gosh darn. Let's see who got it right. Ooh, points for you! Who's next? Let's see, what would be good? How about this? What percentage of people never get popcorn when they go to the movie theater? 62% Alright, what do you think? Everyone is saying lower. And Surveil says... 17%! And always remember to chomp that popcorn during moments of expository dialogue. Who got it right? Smart, yes. Here's your points. Okay, who's up next? Ooh, this is gonna be good. What percentage of people have a collection of bath products they've taken from hotels? 76% Okay, higher or lower? Oh, <laughs> 
Shoo. It's unanimous again. Okay, let's see the right answer. 44%! It starts with tiny hotel shampoo bottles. Pretty soon it's packets of artificial sweetener. After that, I'm afraid there's no way back. Let's see who got it right. Nice job! I've got some points for you. Next up! Secrets. What should I search for in the old Surveillance Pro next? Ooh, I know! What percentage of people stash more than $1,000 cash in locations other than banks? percent everyone else higher or lower Whee! I hear you what do you think higher or lower people are saying higher and the correct answer is 10%! I think the maximum you can put under a mattress is 750. More than that, you risk back and neck issues. Who got it right? Well done, you did points! It's time for the final round. Through sophisticated population profiling, we found the most popular answers to this question. Who do most people find to be the most annoying celebrity? Let's see what we have! You have three chances to pick the most popular answers on the board. Good luck! Remember, you can pick three answers, not just one. Okay, let's see what you picked. Now, let's take a look at the results. Let's see who's the head honcho. Congratulations, you seem to know everyone's secrets. Remind me never to cross them.
Welcome to TKO. I am the Tournament Master. If you're wondering what I look like, think young Patrick Dempsey. I brought you to T-Shirt Island to engage in deadly T-Shirt combat. Each of you has the heart of a true warrior, which you'll find in a jar under your seat. Eat it now, or save it for later. Every epic tale starts somewhere. Yours begins here, at the training grounds. You will use your device to draw three drawings. You may draw whatever you choose. Go nuts with it! But if you're stumped, feel free to use the suggestion button. It's time for your first drawing, right now! Interesting. I get what you were going for with these, but this time I want to see more colors. On to drawing number two. Last drawing, let's get weird with it. Begin! Good, good, pretty good. For your last exercise, you will write as many slogans or phrases as you can. Something short and snappy like you might see on a t-shirt. And there's no shame in hitting the suggestion button if you need it. Go! Mm-hmm. 
I'm looking for like three or four from each of you. Does that seem doable? Just give it a shot. Seconds remain. Hey, oh, you really dug deep that time. Your training is complete. Now point your eyes at your device. Select one drawing and one slogan to create the perfect t shirt combination. And I do mean perfect. yourselves. Let the tournament begin. Gauntlet 1 Versus Fight. Fight by submitting your votes on your devices, that is. A new challenger appears. Attack! Totality! Versus Five A new challenger appears Engage in an altercation. A new challenger appears. Battle! How about a training break?
Use your devices to enter one new drawing and as many new slogans as you wish. Make them count. Go! And right. Time is not for decoration. Finish quickly. The second gauntlet looms, and the hairy paws of Kismet have shuffled your drawings and slogans. You know what to do. Make a shirt. Choose wisely. Gone two versus five. A new challenger appears. I want you to fight. A new challenger appears. Fight! Attack! 
tie won't cut it. The defender wins. <laughs> Winners! The final gauntlet is here, and only the best shirts from the previous rounds remain. The tournament ends here. Versus... Fight! well, but the one true winner has emerged.
Welcome to TKO. I am the Tournament Master. You may remember me from mid-2005 paparazzi photos of Shelley Long. We dated, briefly. I brought you all here to T-Shirt Island because you are the cream of the T-Shirt fighting crop. And because I just finished the last season of The Bachelor and I have got to talk about it with someone. Let's draw, shall we? Begin! Time is about to expire, you may want to finish up. Eh, decent enough, but a bit traditional. At this time, try changing your shirt color with the little tabs at the bottom. Begin your second drawings. Make haste before time runs out! Gorgeous! One more to go! Wow, my babies! Begin! If you'd rather get to the action faster, next time try the quick training mode in the game settings.
so short, hurry up and finish already! I love to watch two masters at work. And now it's time for... The slogans. Go! Well, I know that's not your best material. Write another! That time is not for decoration. Finish quickly! I believe some of you broke a sweat that time. Let's see if it pays off. Time to breathe life into your t-shirt creation. Live! Wonderful! I can wait no longer! Let the tournament begin! Goblet 1 Versus Fight! Using your devices to vote. Challenger appears. Engage one another in violence. Totality. Versus Attack Versus Oh, 
Oh, you winners look good. This feels like a good time for a training break. Use your devices to enter one new drawing and as many new slogans as you wish. Don't let me down. Writing time! Time is about to expire, you may want to finish up. Let's see some new shirts! I've got a good feeling about this batch. Got the two. Versus. Battle. Versus Big. I mean, uh, fight. Versus Go ahead and fight already. The tie goes to the defender. A new challenger appears. Fight each other!
Challenger appears. Fuck! The reigning champion wins ties. Next time, get more votes. Winners! The final gauntlet is upon us, and only the most worthy shirts from the previous round will compete. Prepare to cast your votes for the last time. Versus... Battle! Spirits of T-Shirt Island have been satisfied, and believe me, they're real jerks when they get cranky, so thanks a ton.